Hello all, my name is Patrice. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a voice coach who has been doing this for over 10 years. And so I always say the really, really cool thing about when you've been doing something long enough is you start to observe the things that are working and the things that don't. And so really at the end of the day, what my mission here is to be able to share with you all the techniques that I found to be effective, the mindsets, different things as an artist overall that can be helpful in order to succeed. And so before I break down what I wanna to cover today, I would appreciate it if you took a moment to subscribe to this channel. Each week, I drop videos with what I hope is helpful information for you all. So you can just hit that below there. There's also a little bell for notifications so when the new stuff comes out, you can be one of the first to see it. <laughs> so today, what do I wanna cover? Well, I wanna cover the three differences between an amateur singer and a professional singer. And you may be surprised to find they're a lot different than what you initially think. Bear with me as I break down three major differences between a pro and an amateur. Let's get at it. Okay. So let's dive in. But before I really get into that, I do want to take a moment to let you know that I want to offer you today for free the first part of my singing program, Learn to Sing Like the Pros. You can get access to techniques that have been incredibly effective with hundreds of artists that I've worked with, um, give you some great foundation stuff to do for warm ups and so forth. And that link is hello or if you're coming from socials you can check out the link in the bio but either way do yourself a huge favor confidence knowledge power it comes from understanding your craft and you can understand your craft by getting techniques that are effective so again be sure to load this to check out that link i want to give it to you today for free to try and hopefully improve yourself and become more like a pro and not so much like an amateur. Because <laughs> that is what I want to break down, right? What is these big differences between someone who is a professional in their industry and one who is an amateur? Well, first of all, a pro knows how to cover their tracks when they're off. <laughs> I say this all the time, right? Um, the difference between a professional and an amateur is a professional knows how to cover their mistakes essentially, right? When you've been in something enough, especially in the arts field as a singer, right? You're gonna encounter things that happen. Um, you're gonna encounter forgetting lyrics. You're gonna encounter, um, you know, hitting a bad note. You're going to encounter having to bring someone up on stage, right? Or in my case, falling off stage, right? <laughs> True story, twice. Twice I've fallen off stage. Um, and so, what happens when you've done something enough is you're kind of like, okay, great, great. Like, what can I do to cover that, right? Sometimes you want to acknowledge something. If something went way off, like my approach might just be like, oh, whoa, what was that? <laughs> you know, make people laugh uh, or hopefully make them laugh. Uh, or other times it's like, I remember getting lyrics when I was singing a song and I was like, oh my gosh, it was a cover song. And I was like, what the heck are the lyrics here? But I saw people singing it. So I was like, great, I'm just gonna throw the mic out there, like sing along. <laughs> and then when it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I know where I'm at. Bring it back in, right? So it's quick stuff like that, that you learn from doing something over and over and over. It's like um, an athlete, right? And maybe in a basketball game, they have the plan of what they wanna do, but then something gets interjected and that, that plan gets thrown off, right? They can be quick about like, oh, I'm gonna come in this way. I was supposed to go in this way, right? So you you have to adjust to the moment. And I find with a lot of amateurs or people that are starting out is that can just totally throw them for a loop and all of a sudden they're like, oh, okay, what do I do? So really the big difference between an amateur is when you think about it, when something happens, they tend to be so thrown off and they don't know what to do, right? So they, that is what happens when you don't have enough experience. You don't have always enough 
um, time in the game. Let's just say it that way, right? You don't have enough time in the game to understand what kind of plays to use when the play that you are going to use goes off. And so that's one big difference between an amateur and a professional is a professional knows how to cover their tracks when things go off. And one helpful tip that I can give in an exercise that you can do to, um, to help yourself as an artist is I'll tell my artists like write out things that you can do if something goes wrong right? Preparation's important. And so if I forget lyrics, just even thinking through this process, it can be helpful and comforting to kind of go, hey, I know there's things that I can do. And so if something in the very, mm, know, very much likelihood that things are going to go off at some point, I feel comforted in the fact that I've kind of thought through different things and have an understanding of different things that I can do. So that is number one. Let's move forward. The other big difference between an amateur and a pro is a no does not throw them off, right? Someone who's been in the game long enough understands that they're gonna get no's, right? And they are able to pick themselves up, evaluate the situation, see if they need to change something, or if they did the best that they could and it was just they weren't right for that part or or that show was meant the right fit for them or whatever it may be there. But they don't let the no throw them off. And I find a lot of times with amateurs or people starting, right? There's nothing wrong too. I don't wanna say that term and have people be like, oh my God, why is she saying amateur? It's like, we all start somewhere. And I hope these things actually help you and comfort you and empower you to kind of go, oh, okay, cool. Like there's things that I can be doing to work myself into a state of being a professional. And to not let the nose take you off track, to not let the nose stop you, right? Because the only way you get to that professional point is by getting through those closed doors, right? Or, or, you know, they always say with one closed door comes another, right? And I really, that is true. If you stay the course, you keep walking down that hallway, you're bound to hit another door, right? And again, it might be locked. It maybe isn't, you don't have the key for that or that's not, that's not right, the, the, not the right opportunity or not the right thing, right? But that is so important that you do not let the no stop you. And I think pros just get that. They know they're going to get that and they don't fear it. And I think fear is one of the biggest things, again, that can stop us is we're fearing things so we don't do things and action leads to results, right? And so that's what I would say there is do not let the no throw you off. And, and with this one, I think the tip with it is just to understand this and when things happen, feel what you need to feel, evaluate the situation. Could I have done something differently? Could have I improved upon that audition? Um, why I didn't get that opportunity there? And if the answer is yes, then make adjustments. If the answer is no, I felt like I gave that my all, then it's just move forward. Just keep doing the things that you're doing. And so that leaves us to the last major reason or difference, I should say, not major reason, big difference between an amateur and a pro. Okay, so when it comes to pro versus amateur, there's a mindset that is had, right? And I think we have to grow into this. And so a pro will look at something and if they really admire it and they want that or they want that level of uh, achievement or that level of craftsmanship or whatever it may be, they're not looking at that and going, hey, I wish I could do that. I wonder how they do that. They analyze that and they go, how did you do that if they can? And then they do it, right? Whereas a lot of times people starting will look at something that they admire or something they aspire for and go, oh, I wish I could do that. Hmm. I wonder how they did that. They don't seek at times beyond that point of the wonder. Oh, I wonder how they did that. Whereas again, the pro is like, wait a second here. Something happened to get that there. And I need to know what happened to get it there. And what happens when we approach it that way is we actually start to take actions, be it research, be it trying to talk to someone, understand it, to really get into that mindset of the what they did to get to that point. And then ultimately for them too. Because a lot of times when you look at um, interviews of artists or famous business people or successful business people um, or talk to, to people in your area that are doing things that you aspire for, you're going to find there's commonalities, 
right? Different businesses, different people, different personalities, all kinds of different things. That's fine. That's what life is, right? But there's certain things that I've noticed that are successful actions, and that is discipline, right? On my end from observation, it's discipline. There's an element of sacrifice that comes in when you're trying to go for bigger things. Um, there is the discipline to to get things done. There is a mass amount of times at organization. Um, there is the understanding that it's okay that things don't go right, right? So I could go on and on and on about those things there, but there is that that kind of commonality that comforts me and also gives me some framework of what I can be doing to reach that level. Like what are they doing and how are they doing that? What are they using to get there? Like do yourself a huge favor if you want, if you have big big goals, big dreams, like go for it. Um, and don't just say it, start to kind of figure out what it is that can get you to the top. So I really hope this helps you and gives you some really helpful tips and knowledge into what I perceive are the three major differences between someone who is a professional in their field and someone who is an amateur. So as a quick recap of the three major things, right? We have number one, a pro knows how to cover their tracks if they screw up. Two, the no doesn't stop them. And three, they figure out how to make things happen from the people that they admire doing it before them. So as always, thank you so much for sticking around. If you've watched this all the way through, yes, I appreciate you. Um, you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, comment if this helped you, comment if there's things you're struggling with. Um, that helps me have more understanding of what's needed on your end. And, and hopefully I can make some of these videos to help you out there or answer those questions. And then lastly, below here, there is a link to my program, Learn to Sing Like the Pros, for free, and there are proven techniques that have helped hundreds of my artists become incredible singers. And so, do yourself a favor, take advantage of that. It is right below. Again, the link is below this video. It is completely free. Learn to sing like the pros. My vocal program helped hundreds of artists, and I'd love to be able to help you. If you're coming from another site, it may be in the link there, so check it out. All right, till next time. Thank you so much for joining me.